Good morning, St. Francis, and good morning, people of God. It is Wednesday, the 19th day of January 2022, Wednesday of the second week of the year, the second week in ordinary time. Um, again, here is our arcade, our cloister walk between our two uh, our two school buildings, uh, Thea and Siena. Um, and so the, the Thea complex uh, that, that involves a whole other set of buildings too, uh, but between, between Thea and Siena, where our children move back and forth uh, to the gymnasium, uh, to the upper school, to the lower school um, every day. Uh, it is a little bit chilly, it's going to be warm today, but then there's another snow emergency on the way. And so again, it's, it's nice to have snow. It's too bad that Carolina doesn't know what to do with it, and basically panic ensues every time, every time we have some snow. So uh, we'll see what happens as the uh, week begins to progress uh, to its to its conclusion. Um, but uh, our readings for today, again, we hear uh, David um, conquering Goliath. Um, very, again, is the way the book of Samuel uh, narrates it. Um, it is very very dramatic. Um, it is rather gory in some ways, uh, but it, again, it shows uh, the prowess and the promise of this uh, ruddy, handsome youth uh, who um, who God points out to Samuel, who will go to lead uh, the people of Israel. Um, Saul sends him forth um, to be able to uh, seek battle against the Philistines, against Goliath, um, and then uh, David is able to do uh, so by uh, creating a slingshot uh, of some sort uh, with five smooth stones uh, from the riverbank. Um, he then uh, approaches as he uh, hits Goliath in the head with the stone. Goliath falls to the earth, and then David, just to put good measure to all of this, uh, cuts off his head. Um, so, and then brings that back to Saul to show that the uh, Philistines have been uh, put in their place. Um, again, this turn of events, these Philistines who had been uh, conquering um, uh, Israel left and right and have been creating a lot of havoc uh, for Israel um, are now uh, put to rest in one way uh, because of David and his and, and his courage. Again, another sign where Saul felt, felt himself powerless, David now rises in power. Um, so this, this drama uh, that is still unfolding in the book of Samuel. Um, the gospel for today, uh, again, is another episode of the Pharisees, again, really being bothered by Jesus because he keeps, you know, um, not obeying a lot of the rules and regulations uh, that uh, Israel had set up uh, so that it could maintain um, an orderly and um, uh, uh, and um uh, balanced uh, kind of lifestyle before God. And so this whole idea of a man with a withered hand in the synagogue um, who Jesus is going to heal. And the Pharisees are watching to see if he's going to do this because it is a Sabbath. And how dare that Jesus do something uh, like this on the Sabbath. Uh, but Jesus does so, uh, regardless of rules and regulations, because someone needs help, someone needs healing. Um, again, all of this is proving that, again, our rules and regulations conscious of humanity, are they conscious of the human person, or are they just existing for themselves, for the human person to labor under, to be oppressed by, or to be enslaved by? Again, many times in our human societies, our rules and regulations become more important than the people they are meant to serve and or protect. And if our rules and regulations are doing that, then they are not helpful uh, to the flourishing, to the growth, uh, to the celebration of human welfare and human dignity. Um, this is something to be careful of always and something that, again, Jesus begins to mark out in his own ministry, uh, beginning to not just to show that some of the rules and regulations set up uh, by Pharisaical Judaism do no longer serve humanity, but also reminding humanity itself uh, that it is meant not to uh, be served by rules, uh, but to be able to help those rules uh, enable us uh, to achieve the fullness of humanity, a ful fullness of joy of the spirit, a fullness of heart, a fullness of life that God promises to all of us. And may the Lord give you his peace.